The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray feeling good, Lewis. I have been asked, hold on, to uh, go over the good, the bad, and the ugly. And the bad means uh, what was my probably my best trade ever, and also what was my worst trade ever. So it might be the same trade. No, it wasn't. Anyway, I posted it up here, folks. It's the chart of AIG, American Insurance Group, out of Hong Kong. You'll notice that the three drive to a top pattern was being made there in uh, 2006 and uh, at $72 a share. And I was on an airplane going from Hong Kong to San Francisco with a stop in Narita. And there was a young lady in the seat in front of me who I was attracted to. And we were getting ready to leave the plane. I asked her where she was going, and she said she was going on to uh, – Toronto and I said well you've got about a four hour wait would you like to join me in the lounge and so we went in and so we started chatting and I had my laptop there and I was trying to show her some of the stuff I was doing and she said she was involved heavily involved with this stock in Hong Kong called AIG and she said would I look at it so I took a look at it and I said wow I said boy I said if there's anything you ever should sell it's this stock. And so I showed her some old three drive to a top patterns that I had kept on file. And I said, uh, I said, this is really, it's really serious. I said, you should really get out of this. I said, if you're wrong, I said, uh, I'll be really surprised. But frankly, I don't think I'm going to be wrong on this one. And she said, well, I've been thinking about selling it anyway. And I said to her, I said, uh, how about if it works, you marry me. <laughs> And she said, I think that's a little off the table. Anyway, uh, I have to show you what happened. We ended up uh, spending about four hours, and I, I did the full court press, everything I could do to get her uh, interested in me. Nothing seemed to help. But one thing that did help, uh, just to get it up here, this is what happened to AIG, AIG folks. I got this from my my buddy Larry Williams, so I know he, he doesn't mind me showing it, but uh, and of course he knows the story, but uh, this is where it happened to it. It went to 38 cents, folks. Well, by the time she got to Toronto, I, I had already been to San Francisco and back to Tucson, and I had emailed her probably, it has to be 7, 8, 10, 12 times, I don't know, and finally, you know, I called her up. Because I, I, she gave me her cell number, and she said, my sister says that you are stalking me. And I said, your sister is a very good judge of character. I am indeed stalking you. And she, she sort of laughed, and anyway, so we started chatting. Well, her mother, her mother was in very, very serious time. In fact, she died just a few days later. And I was speaking in Toronto on the 5th of November of that year. Unfortunately, that was the day her mother passed away. And so we never got to meet. But later on, around the time of the um, the Chinese New Year, in, in it was a 2000 and uh, yeah, it'd be, two, it'd be February of 2007. There was the Money Show in New York, and I invited her to come to New York to see the Money Show and stuff. And uh, I said, "We'll see how we get along." And so we did get along, and we ended up getting married. That's probably my best trade. Anyway, uh, now we go on to the the annals of the worst trade, and that's an easy one to remember. I'll get this up here so you folks will be able to see it. Uh, this is the market. Let me get talk to you where we are here. This was 1974, folks. I'm sure none of you guys have ever been through this, but we'll go through it again to see what it was like. You'll see here uh, this first gold uh, spot right here. That that was my birthday in uh, July 28th, 1973. That was the highlight of my account. Uh, it started at Conti in 1968 at about, uh, I think I had about, hmm, must have been something like four or $5,000 in it. It wasn't very much. Anyway, I ran that up to, it was uh, seven figures at that point, just a little over, uh, it's about a million one, I believe, as I recall. I remember standing in the uh, 
um, what do you call it, the um, – on the street there of Rodeo Drive. This was this was before Rodeo Drive. Rodeo Drive was there, but this uh, the uh, it was the uh, what was the name of that center? I can't remember. And it was the big shopping center there. Pavilion. It was the pavilions there long before it was Rodeo Drive was still there, but none of the shops were there. So anyway, they were just businesses and stuff, little stuff. Anyway, that was the high, and I was I was leaning up against my new car, which was a. Uh, I had a little Mercedes convertible, and I had everything in the world that I could possibly want. I mean, I had two beautiful kids. I had a couple of houses. I had uh, quite a bit of money. Uh, Rolex watch, you know, all the toys, nice clothes, all da 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 doesn't make any difference. Anyway, uh, and I had tears in my eyes, folks. I really did, because uh, my mother had passed away uh, about uh, 18 months before, and uh, I, you know, it just really bothered me that I was not able really to – you know, give her some of the things that she wants. I, we, we, she was always taken care of, but it could have been a lot better. But uh, anyway, that was it. And from that point on, where that green dot started, where that yellow dot started, is to where we dropped all the way down into December of 1974. That happened to be my second best trade, folks. Let me tell you why. Because even though I lost my money, I knew that I was able to make money. And when I lost all that money, I went back to see my good buddy, Dr. Noblet, and he said, he laughed at me when I told him what I had done. He said, you think people have not done this before? He said, just look at your P&S statements. It'll tell you what you did wrong. And it was really simple, folks. You can see here, as it started down here, I was adding to losers as we went through here. And then the worst thing happened was, is we had this nice little rally. You'll see uh, there in uh, where this black arrow is right there. We're going to go into that in just a little bit. And that's when it looked like everything was going to be okay. I was almost back to my old high. It was not quite there, but I was almost there. And then the October and December crash happened in the stock market, and we went all the way down. We bottomed the first time in October, the second time in December. And these were both major, major astrological events in October and in December of that year, that's what got me to write that book, um, Astral Cycles, The Trader's Viewpoint. But every time these things would go down, you see all these little ABCD patterns in here. I would buy these little ABCD patterns. The problem was the AB leg would bottom and it would rally three days and then go down for 10 days. And I wasn't smart enough to get out. All I did was average down, average down. And then it got down to this point right here where it got really, and I had too many contracts on, I was over margin. And so what happened on that fateful day in October, uh, I got uh, knocked out. I, I, I actually, I, I was a little, uh, I, I wasn't depressed. I was upset, but I wasn't depressed. But um, that's what I went through. And when we get back, I want to show you something that I think is coming. And I want you folks to try to remember this because I'm going to keep this stock on on file because this was 50 years ago and nobody remembers this. And that's why we've got to pay very, very close attention to it. So because if it comes, this will be a life changing trade, folks. If it comes, we got a break coming up here pretty soon, I believe. And you know, I've got to get hooked up with the old tiger clock so I can see what's going on. 877-927-6648. Paula Webb's our guest today, folks. of booming inflation where your purchasing power is eroded there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold vista gold's flagship asset is the mount todd gold project in the northern territory of australia this is australia's largest undeveloped gold project we are talking a world-class gold project in the tier one mining district this is a large-scale low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, by the way, our guest today at the halftime break will be Paula T. Douglas Webb. And on Tuesday, we're going to have Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. On Wednesday, we'll have Tim Bost of Financial Cycles Weekly out of Bradenton, Florida. Now, let's get back to the old 1974. This is what we want to be watching for, folks. 50 years ago is when this happened, but you notice where this little dotted arrow line is right here? That's what we want to see. Inside this, you can see the small... A, B, C, D pattern that is right there, okay? Now, if that happens to be exactly 382 off the high that we made back on July the 28th, yes, that's what we have to pay attention to because if this starts to work, much like the one that worked between May the 5th and the 22nd of May, that's, that's the big casino, folks. That's a life-changing trade. Uh, this was life-changing for me because it made me study. When we got down to the bottom, I didn't have any money. Well, I had trading money. I mean, I, I, had, I was minus $2,800 in a trading account. But back in 75, there was no CFT, CFTC until uh, I think it was December of that year. So uh, the margins were made by the, you know, your clearing broker. So you could trade in a debit balance if they allowed you to. And I had paid so many commissions, they said, sure, you can trade in a debit balance. Anyway, I never did. I waited until I got a nice pork belly trade. I made the $2,800 back and I didn't trade for, well, about 14 months. I studied and I studied one book only. That was the Gartley book, Profits in the Stock Market by H.M. Gartley. It cost $3,700. In 19, um, uh, not $3,700. In 1937, it cost $1,500. And it was basically a loose leaf binder book. It wasn't printed book. It was in a loose leaf binder. And I, you know, I had just the major pages uh, for pages 200 to 250 were all the patterns and uh, the stuff, the ratios and stuff. I had Fibonacci stuff. So I started putting it together. And that's when I came up with the Gartley pattern. And, and in 1988, I got the butterfly pattern. And ABCD has always been the structure that I'm looking for. But if this works like this, and it might not happen for three months, it might not happen at all. But if it does, uh, we want to be watching that because that is going to be a really, really good one. And not only that, folks, it's not going to give you any heat at all. This is very similar. This pattern that we're looking at right here with this dotted line right here. This was the exact pattern that we did for gold today in the uh, trade what you see with our videos that went out and stuff. 
It's exactly, I sent this out, it's early Sunday morning to sell the gold at 1861. It's now trading, and I think it's below 1850 was the last uh, alert that I saw. And But anyway, this tells us that we've got a major bear market on our hands in gold, and it should go down a great deal to the area of right around uh, 1685 to 1687, down $150 dollars from our high that we just made up here at 1878. So we're watching that one real closely. The only thing that'll change this, folks, is if gold gets back above 1878, then this is all wrong. Uh, I mean, this this has nothing to do with the gold market. It just This is what it looks like. But if it gets above there, that means this pattern would certainly be a failure, and you certainly didn't want to stand in front of that. If you've got a uh, $1,200, $1,300 profit in something, uh, and uh, you, what you want to do is, first of all, put your stop at break even, for God's sake. I mean, you're only risking $600 on the trade. Now you've made a little bit, so you don't want it to go to a negative. So you want to put your stop at break even at the worst. And if it's right, and if it's right and goes down more, you've got a, you've got a falling safe. And that's the ideal kind. You let the safe hit the ground, split open, and pick up the goodies. You know, you don't have to try to catch it. That's the main thing of what we're trying to do here as we look at some of these things. Now, I've got a few chart. Wow, I just saw that the gold is trading at 1845. Well, it's down $1,600. That's pretty good. Wow, the old stock market came unglued up there near that uh, 786 level. Let's just get this up here. That was my next start chart that I wanted to see is to pay attention to it because shut the front door and raise the rent. Let's get it up here. Okay, give me a second here. God, this is, I gotta love this business. Someday I'm gonna learn how to do these charts. And okay, here's what I was looking at today coming in. You'll notice here Sunday night, where were we, boys and girls? Right there at the old 78% level. Just sitting there, just breathing a little air right around, uh, you know, 4108, 4103, somewhere in that ballpark. And look where we went up to, folks, to the exact drum roll, please, to the tick. 78% level right here, and I just saw over my shoulder that the old puppy has broken down 30 handles in the last 25 minutes. So that's tells you that was a very, very important number up here at the 78% uh, level. So I hope that helps. I had this prepared, and uh, I didn't know it was going to happen that way, but these were the things that I was watching. and. I thought you might have an interest in some of those, so let's take a look at it. Now, I want to share with you some uh, cycles from, hold on one second here, from um, our good friend over at Cycles Research. We want to get this up here because he's got some really, really interesting ones here that are uh, looking at, and this is the one that I think is uh, very important. It's the advanced decline line. We'll get this up here, and you'll be able to see this right here. There's your advanced decline line you see coming down. We had a nice little bounce in here. Folks, it's really, really, really super important that we don't take out that low that we made on May 20th. Because if we do, and if we do, that would be equivalent to that black arrow that I just pointed out in the gold market with the little ABCD. That means it came in a little early. We were down for well over, oh dear, I think we were down 90 trading days from January to the 20th of um, May. So we should get at least 30 trading days to the upside. Well, we've already gone through 12 or 13 because we bottomed on the 20th and the Russell bottomed on the 15th. So that's what we're watching here with some of these. But uh, they follow these ratios uh, pretty nicely. So that's basically uh, what you have to do is when you're watching some of these things is to trust in what you're looking at and let the marbles fall like they may. Now, another one. Let's take a look at the advanced decline line on a little bit larger time scale. Let's get this up here because it's showing you that there's a lot of distribution in the market and there are people that are still in it and uh, they don't believe that there's anything really seriously happening. But you can see here we've had a lot of problems. We're back to this level right here already, folks. So we need to pay, well, maybe that's what they're trying to tell us today, the fact that it came off 30 handles off the 78% level. So we'll do one at a time. Now, the next one we want to take a look at here is the uh, real estate market. Don't know anything about this, but uh, this gentleman does, so we'll take a look at it here. You'll be able to see it. This shows you the uh, relative strength of the real estate market, this extreme 
move like this. Now, how high it's going to go from here is anybody's guess. But they're telling you to just beware up in this area because it's going to be very, very interesting to see if this thing explodes more uh, to the upside. And I have, without a doubt, I have the uh, trophy for the worst real estate investor in California, Arizona, Nevada, New Mexico, and Colorado. And um, I am proud of it. I, I'm a short-term trader. That's what I know. Stay tuned, folks. we got Paula Webb coming up, and we'll have some good invocation with her. 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. NN.com. Tom O'Brien has just announced a live Timing the Trade webinar Friday, June 10th from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Join Tom O'Brien for five hours of live education as he teaches you his trading methodology right from his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. In this live webinar, Tom O'Brien will be teaching you his entire trading system, including quality volume, ABC structures, Fibonacci confluence zones, cause and effect, swing points, and more. We will be limiting this class to 40 attendees, so please do not delay and reserve your seat today for this special live event with Tom O'Brien. All attendees will also receive a physical copy of his book, The Art of Timing the Trade, an $88 value, mailed to you, along with a free month of his daily newsletter, Market Insights, a $169 value. For all the details and to reserve your seat today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Paula T. Webb Douglas Tomasini on the line. Paula, how are you doing? Good. How are you? Paula, I am great. I have two questions from our listeners that I got over the weekend, and that's okay. why I asked for an SOS so that you would uh, join us. And one of the problems that the gentleman was have, how does he break the habit of overtrading? Well, that's pretty simple. If you're overtrading, then that means you don't believe there's always opportunity in the market at any given moment. Because if you're overtrading, that means you think that there isn't going to be a better opportunity with the next trade or the next set of trades or the next day. Wow. And that's that a fundamental really belief that traders have to have, that there is always opportunity, not that just on that trade, not just on the yeah. next trade, but always. Boy, that's good. Well, I'm going to 
pass that on to them. And the second, <laughs> okay. no, really, I, you know, I my, you know, what I said, I st- I said, stop trading. I said, you don't know what the hell you're doing. I said, that's the easiest thing to do. But uh, well, you know, I would have said that, but you know, that usually yeah. kind of falls on deaf ears. <laughs> yeah, that that's true. They won't listen. They they won't stop. That's for sure. And well, most right. of them don't anyway. Uh, the right. second question is about money management. Is there a uh, quick uh, back of the envelope math that you use for money management. I remember when Mark used to trade. You know, he traded bonds, of course, with that 15 minute, and he had a set, you know, set uh, time that he wanted to, or how much money he wanted to make each day, and how much money he was willing to risk to see that. But is there a formula that uh, people use that give them an idea of what is the ideal risk risk environment? Mm, that's a tough one. Um, Really, because it's it's. I mean, you can say three three to five percent. I can say that um, in terms of risk ratio. But <clears throat> excuse me, each person really has their own sacred number, mm-hmm. what they're willing to risk. Now, whether that's appropriate or not from a money management perspective, it really doesn't matter because I I work with guys and they'll do anything from two to fifteen percent risk yeah. ratio and yeah. and then they wonder why they're boom and busters and it's really yeah. one of the most difficult things for traders to grasp is that by maintaining your risk ratio consistently let's say three to four percent or three to five percent maximum mm-hmm. um you really will build consistency mm-hmm. but since a lot of traders you know want a quick fix or they're in it for the moment right now they're like, well, I'm not going to risk that much, or maybe I should mm-hmm. risk more. Oh yeah, if I risk more, then yeah, I, yeah, I, this will be better, and and they, you know, and they justify it all the way around to try to grab a hold of the biggest profit. When in reality, all they're doing is creating a mindset of not being able to follow any rules. Yeah, most people don't realize here, Paula, is that Mark worked with some of the well, he, with the greatest bond traders of all time. I mean, they were all buddies. And so they all, you know, came to Mark for information and the amount of money that these people risked in the market each day and the amount of money that they made still boggles my mind to this day. I mm-hmm. mean, $500,000 on a swing was was like pocket change to them sometimes. It wasn't right. until they got to be two or $3 million into the red or something like that, that they would uh, begin to panic. But uh, the stories that Mark, you know, and I saw some of them with Robert, of course, and Tom, mm-hmm. and it was really an amazing feat to see how they handled risk. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't risk to them. It was just chips, and they knew the money was there. They could always make it back, and so they had the confidence just to keep on trading. And uh, that that to me was the thing that blew me away: the amount of money that uh, they were making each day. I mean, I remember I remember Robert. Uh, he, I think he was trying to make $250,000 a day, and Mark would all, and said you can only trade for an hour and a half. I, I remember that. And uh, he, he, he would do it. He would make that kind of money in an hour and a half. How did he do it? He would trade two or 300 bonds at a time, and boom, the money was there. <laughs> right, so. but I mean, and, and that's a good point that you bring up is that – there, none of these great traders, none of these super traders, looked at their risk ratio as risk. It was just yeah. the cost of doing business as a trader. They yeah. they didn't look at the dollar amount coming mm-hmm. out of their you know trading account. They, mm-hmm. they were I don't want to say they were disconnected. They were just completely objective about mm-hmm. achieving a goal of taking profit mm-hmm. as it became available. Mm-hmm. Do you and, remember and, Paula? Yeah, I remember one of the costs. One of the costs that uh, Robert used to talk about is he had to have a best position on the floor in the bond pit, and so he hired right. some uh, hired some young man to go in and stand there for two hours early in the morning. You know, with like four to six in the morning, to so till Robert got in, so that he have his spot standing next to Tommy Baldwin and the and a major major order uh, takers in the T bonds, just so they would be there for the order flows, so they could handle one or two or three hundred contracts in and out, you know, really quickly if they wanted to. I mean, these are things that people don't even think about, but that spot on the floor was uh, that was like sacred ground to those guys. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Sure hey, tell us what you got for today, young lady. I always like to reminisce with you because we always did this uh, every time we met, and I certainly miss that. How is things going over there in California? You still like it as much as you did? 
Uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's uh, it's okay. Yeah. <clears throat> now me. you're 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 the chaplain for the San Bernardino Sheriffs now. Is that correct? Uh, Riverside County. Riverside County. Wow, that's a big one. Yeah. That's the largest yeah. county in. That's the largest county in California. Uh, well, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. So. It's the largest county in California. <laughs> Son of a well, yeah, congratulations. So it's, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, just a little giving back to the community. You know, I'm so <clears throat> so blessed to be successful as a trader and an author, and mm -hmm. you know, being uh, you know collaborator with Mark. And mm -hmm. you know, one of one of the things that I teach traders is that if you don't earmark your profits for any particular mm -hmm. purpose then you can't keep your profit because your mental environment doesn't understand why you're accumulating except to accumulate and that goes back to having a business mm -hmm. plan when you start trading or even if you don't have one now guys formulate one put one together yeah. and, and earmark a certain percentage of your profit for whatever you're going to use it for down the road mm -hmm. now that yeah. can change it doesn't have to be written in stone but you have to have a purpose for your money because money is energy and and money mm -hmm. cannot just remain static just like the universe is in constant motion so are the markets and so mm -hmm. is your money so if you don't yeah. If you're just sitting there accumulating, you won't be able to keep your profit because you'll blow it up. It's a fact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, so that's one, no, no question about that. Yep. Yeah. So one of the one of the things I do is you know working hard and all that, but because I make a good living doing all of this, that gives me the time to give back to the community, which is something mm -hmm. that Mark and I have always done. Mark was mm -hmm. great. You should have seen talk about reminiscing. When we lived over in Scottsdale, there was a place called, um, oh gosh, I forget, uh, oh, Andre House. And it was a homeless shelter. And they provided job training and showers and clothes and all this kind of stuff. And every day they fed 7,000 people breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And so mm -hmm. um, Mark and I would go over there once a month, and especially on the holidays. And I would run the dishwasher as we fed them, but Mark was in the kitchen cooking, and he would yeah. push all all the all the pastors and all the other people out of the way, and he would get in there and just start cooking. It was great. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, he was yeah. a good cook, that's for sure. Hey, stay with us. I got a couple other questions. One from Texas okay. that you're going to love. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Paula Tomasini Webb is on the line. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, Paula, I've got a question here from Lubbock, Texas. Are you ready? I'm ready. He wants to know whether you're packing a Glock or a 45 automatic. Which <laughs> that's his question. That's his question. I think being from Texas is a sort of a sick joke. But uh, anyway, yeah. we'll we'll, well see. Well, sorry uh, to we'll disappoint. Neither one, uh, uh -huh. 38 special or a uh, MP Shield nine millimeter. That's two uh -huh. of several. Uh, two of okay, several. Fair enough. Those are my two okay. favorites. <laughs> okay, any, anything you'd like to uh, bring to the attention of the folks here about how they can reach you and some of the services that you have? Because I know a lot of people are having trouble and they seem to be afraid to pick up the telephone and call you because you're absolutely a, a wonderful person and uh, you give a lot of information away. So tell the folks how they can reach you, Paula. Okay, well, there you know there's the open invitation for a free chat, a free 30-minute chat at my Phone number is 760-636-4290. I'm in the office seven days a week, Pacific Coast time. But you can always reach out at email at inquiry at paulatweb.com or just go to the website and hang out. Send a contact form at markdouglas.com. Well, that's close enough. Well, listen, yeah. I want to thank you for being our guest here, Paula. Let's talk about maybe doing a live seminar sometime in the fall over here at Tucson. we got this beautiful building that we can use, and it's free, and we could maybe accumulate about 25 people across the, the country. Might come in and spend a few days. We'll hire Rich Anderson to come over and do some stuff so let's let's keep that on the plate okay because uh okay we did this uh, we did this 20 some 28 years ago and when crude oil was trading at 11 dollars a barrel and god we had a lot of fun those uh those three days so let's think about that okay okay let me know i will certainly do that paula webb douglas folks uh We've known her since she was a little uh, teeny bopper anyway paula <laughs> thanks for joining us dear we'll have you on in a couple of weeks okay Okay, sounds good. You bet. Talk to you guys soon. Okay, folks, let's move on here and talk a little bit more about some of these other charts that we're that we're looking at in here. Hold on, the bonds just keep uh, giving up the ghost, folks. Uh, these bonds are in such big trouble, and nobody seems to uh, uh, nobody seems to uh, realize it very much. And I think that's something you got to remember to do that. Uh, pay attention to this. I have to show you the uh, the trade here that we were looking at this morning. This was our well, it wasn't the trade of the day. It was my featured trade that I send out with the uh, uh, videos that I send out uh, all the time to the 24-7 uh, folks and the students. You'll notice here that uh, there was the 382 where that red arrow was. That was the exact 382 coming in at 1861. And um, I got this from uh, one of our uh, listeners in, where was this one? I think this one is from Louisiana, as I recall. No, oh, this one, this is from um, Micronesia. Uh, Jason uh, over in Micronesia. And then exact 382, the high was 1861.50, and now it broke down. And you can see that where the price objective could be down here, folks. You know, that's a long way down. Now you've got a chance here. Uh, you put your stop at the break even point, or say at 1859, to lock in at least $200. And then uh, go from there because uh, that's what you try to do to keep your risks as uh, small as uh, you, you possibly can. I, I think that's the important thing to remember 
as we uh, look at some of these things. I have a couple other charts here from uh, Cycles Research, and it's, this is also one, re, those of you that own homes and stuff, you might be interested in this one because uh, they, think, they seem to think we're topping in the real estate market here. And as you can see here, the difference between the mortgages and the price of the of the houses and stuff is getting a, a little bit uh, obscure in here. So be, be very, very careful. Uh, of course, now mortgage is a lot more, uh, you know, to get a mortgage. My gosh, you got to pay uh, $2,000 a month just to get something small. You know, back when it was 2.5%, 3%, you could have a lot more. Now at 6%, you got half of that buying power is pretty much uh, uh, out of the you know, out of the memory bank as far as looking at some of these things. And finally, I wanted to uh, show you, this is one that they're talking about the average uh, daily returns of, assist, of, the, of, of seasonals. And I'll bring this up here. So you'll see that we're running into a uh, very strong seasonal to the downside, which is related to the sell in May and go away. So let's... Uh, always remember some of these things. These are from Cycles Research out of Vienna, Austria. So if you do have an interest on that, just Google it, and uh, they'll probably send you a uh, sample of uh, some of the charts that they have. Now, there's another one that we were watching really closely. This was our second best uh, trade of the day that we were watching uh, today, and that was in the uh, crude oil market. You know that we live and die by ABCD. We actually live more than we die with the ABCD it works pretty good and as you can see here uh, with the blast aerial we have that double top up there at that uh, 20 120 um, 88 level the high was 120.99 and we broke three uh, dollars a barrel from that level folks uh, we're down we're down in that 118 level i saw lately it's down about two dollars and uh so this might may may be and i say that with uh a great deal of trepidation it may or may not be but there's also the possibility that it could be the major high in the crude oil complex if uh, in fact uh, you know that's going to be it because if we take a look at the treasury notes uh, uh, wow larry where did that come from uh, we take a look at the heating oil we'll get this up here to take a look at it you'll see here that we opened a tiny tiny bit higher last night right at the 78% level up in here. And then, of course, we had a pretty good sell-off. But the one that was the most interesting of all, and I'll do my best to get that one up here because that's the one that has been uh, keeping the old market moving, and that is the chart of the gasoline because that's where they're uh, – in fact, this gasoline has not gone up much considering what's happened here. You can see how much gasoline has exploded to the upside here these last – this past week. Well – our gas is basically the same price as it was two and a half weeks ago. And now we have we got all almost up to the 1.618 expansion at $4.54 a gallon on the wholesale level. So that's a, that's a very important fact that these markets, uh, we made, look how much higher we were than the old high we had at 130. See, when we were back here, you know, crude oil was 130. And here we got crude oil at 118 now. We got gasoline way up here. Why? Because there's a seasonal for gasoline. And there's two things. The, the airline tickets are so doggone hard to get. And if you can get them, half the time they're going to cancel on you. So people are saying, screw it. I'm going to drive all the way back to Terre Haute, Indiana and see my sister. I'm not going to pay the $900 one way to Indianapolis. You know, so and I love driving anyway. So I can drive back and forth for $450 in my 42 Chevy, but by golly, I can still get there. That's the main thing that you got to remember. We're going to have to take a little break here. I think we got another uh, break coming up. And remember, tomorrow we're going to have um, Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. And Wednesday, we've got Tim Boss of Financial Cycles Weekly. And Friday is still up in the air, but uh, it's coming and it will be good. No question about it. So let's uh, remember other folks, too, because a lot of people are having trouble. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the E-mini S&P, and as you can see here, that we had a pretty good break in the rally back. You'll never guess where it stopped at, at least from the time being, and that was right at 41.44, now trading at 41.39. Now, that's not very much, and the key here is if we get back above that 41.48 level, we could go up and still make new highs. I still believe that we've got more time here for this market to chop around because of those big ABCD patterns that were made way back when uh, are very, very important. The one on May the 20th, because we go below that, that's going to be the equivalent like we had in 1974. And I'm doing the psycho work on that, on that ABCD pattern that I'll be sharing with subscribers here in the next three or four weeks, uh, two or three weeks probably, of uh, what to look for as far as the t key dates coming up. We just had Mercury come off retrograde, so that helps uh, for signing deals like automobiles and houses and stuff like that, the traditional astrologers say. So remember, folks, tomorrow's guest will be Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights. Uh, he's been incredibly accurate, and he's extremely bearish longer term. And then on Friday, uh, Wednesday, we'll have Tim Bost, who's been our go-to guy for the cryptos. And also, he said that this rally was just beginning. That was two weeks ago, and by golly, it's still going on. So we'll have Tim on the line on, uh, on Wednesday. Thursday and Friday are still open, and I'm working on that. But so far, we haven't been able to contact or haven't heard back from the people that I'm checking on. So live every day uh, in an attitude of gratitude, and God bless. By the way, we have a couple more seconds here. If you want to call, Al said, that don't bother. The lines are jammed, and we just can't. Uh, we just don't have enough time for another uh, caller. So we'll, uh, 
we'll hold that for tomorrow. So Jeff Huge tomorrow, Tim Bost on Wednesday, and let's uh, pray for a uh, very common uh, or calm world uh, these during the summer months because uh, I, I hate to see what's going on with people. Uh, what I mean, it's just amazing what the human being does to each other. I mean, it, uh, that's not the way God wanted it, I think, boys and girls. And I am off my soft block, uh, soapbox now. We'll see you tomorrow with Jeff Hughes. May God bless. Mm-hmm.